Welcome to the verse of the day. May you be blessed as you receive it. Many today are confused by the idea of worship. What is worship? I'm not going to explain all the intricacies of worship right now, but I'm going to try to point you in the right direction. In the Old Testament, people have to get close to God. How do you get close? How do you come before a holy, all-powerful God when we're sinners, when we are so weak? Well, in the Old Testament, God made provisions for that. Through Moses, he told the people that he needed to come to God with offerings, with sacrifices, particularly because it was through the blood that they would be able to have forgiveness long enough in order to come before the presence of a holy and all-powerful God. But we know that Jesus is our sacrificial lamb. It was Jesus, the perfect sacrifice, who God offered for us so that all those who put our trust in him, who believe him, who repent and get baptized and join Jesus, his blood now, his perfect blood covers us so we are able to come to a holy God and offer acceptable sacrifices. So the question is, what are acceptable sacrifices? How do we worship God here in the New Testament under the New Covenant? Well, Paul gives us a clue in Romans chapter 12, verse 1. We read here, Therefore I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. This is your true and proper worship. So we don't worship in a building. We don't have to go to a building to worship. We don't worship on a particular day. Worship is something that occurs 24-7 because we're in the presence of God 24-7. In the Old Testament, being in the presence of God was reserved for a special time, a special place, sometimes even once a year for the high priest. But now, because we've been freed through the blood of Christ, we have access continually to the throne of God. So our worship of God is 24-7, and it occurs by us using our bodies the right way, offering our bodies as a living sacrifice. We don't come to God with dead sacrifices anymore as they did in the Levitical priesthood. No, we, ha we have a much more special priesthood offered to us by Jesus, and that is with the use and with the offering of ourselves as a living sacrifice. So how does one do that? <laughs> well, it doesn't have to do with how we feel, because most of the times we're not going to feel uh, a particular way to offer our bodies, especially when we talk about sacrificing our time, sacrificing the use of our body. But in Romans chapter 6, uh, throughout later in that chapter, uh, the Apostle Paul talks about how we knew, need to use our bodies as instruments for good, not instruments for evil. We don't want to use this instrument, this vehicle, to do the wrong thing or to be selfish. But we offer it up as a living sacrifice when we use it as an instrument to do good, to serve people, to help people, to promote love, to show love, particularly to promote the gospel of Jesus Christ. And you don't have to go to a building to do that. You don't have to do anything else to do that other than make sure you're washed and covered by the blood of Christ, by being in a relationship with him, by being born again through water and the spirit, being baptized. Once I have that, then anything that I do with this body is pleasing to God because I'm doing it as an offering to him. I'm offering the members of my body to serve God and to please him and that you can do always at any time and any, during any pandemic or situation. Some people think they're upset. Oh, I can't worship God because I can't be with the church in this particular building on this particular day. Nobody said anything about that being worshiped. Yes, we do gather together. We take the Lord's Supper on the first day of every week to memorialize, to commemorate what Jesus did for us to set us free to truly worship God. 
Sunday is not necessarily a day of worship. It's a day of collective remembrance of what Jesus did for us. There is no day of worship. Every day, every hour is a time to worship God and is a time to offer our bodies the right way. And that is what is pleasing to God. I hope you think about that. God bless you. I pray you have been blessed by the insight you received from today's verse of the day. Walk with the Lord and be a blessing.